It's the National Football League on EA Sports. And if it's in the game, it's in the game. It's the Rams and the Buccaneers. And it comes your way next on Madden NFL 24. On the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium, just north of downtown Tampa. Today, we've got an intriguing NFC matchup lined up here as it'll be the Los Angeles Rams taking on the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. From up top next to Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, And folks, we were already excited for this game. And then before the contest, you and I are down on the field outside the white lines. Yes, we were following the rules. We were following the rules. And a ball comes over our direction, but we can't see it. Somebody yells heads up. And instinctively, you turn around and you snare it one-handed with your off left hand. So now we're really ready for football. No gloves either. No gloves. No gloves. Not like what the guys are wearing playing the game now. But wasn't that a whole lot better than that time we were down there? And I got the coffee spilled on me when I got nailed by the punt returner. That happened to the Vikings, right? Yes, yeah, a much better job of being heads up this time. Thank you for the thank you for the notice. Chase McLaughlin has it on the tee, and off we go here in Tampa. This taken in right around the goal line. And good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. So out come the Rams now for their first possession. They're brought out by a man now in his 15th NFL season, one of the most productive passers in league history. And a former Super Bowl champion, Matthew Stafford. And Matthew Stafford was taken first overall in the 2009 draft, and he certainly played like a top pick. Throughout his career, he's been one of the most prolific passers in the league, and there's no reason to believe he's going to slow down his production anytime soon. Not only that, he's also one of the tougher quarterbacks in the league as well. They begin the drive with Williams. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. It'll go as a loss of a yard on the game's first play. Second down. Sometimes being a linebacker in the middle of the field is kind of like being a doctor on the field. You got to make the right diagnosis. Here he correctly sets his run and shoots through to make the play in the backfield. To throw is Stafford. Oh, the Buccaneer pressure too much. Down he goes. Devin White defeating the offensive line and getting to the quarterback. Two plays so far, one and a pass attempt, and both the got backwards. Probably not how they drew that up. Not how. <laughs> Looking for a better play coming up on third. Now on third and long, they'll look to throw. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And he'll be out of bounds, but able to get it up past the 45. The defense shaking their heads. Not aggressive enough, and they allow him to convert a third and 18. All right, Charles, let me put you in the head of one of those defenders out there. You have a big play like that go against you so early. What Does that shake your confidence? It shouldn't, but it often does because your thought process all during the week is how you're going to get after that offense and make your plays. And when they make one against you, makes you a little bit hesitant. Time to regroup. On first and ten, Stafford. Man open left side, it's Williams. And he'll be brought down at the 48-yard line. That's good, the completion there for seven yards, and it'll be second down. I like it, I like it, I like it. Get everyone involved in the passing game, and you know you can create those great mismatches throwing it to your guys out of the backfield. And on the first drive, that can also help establish some rhythm, right? I think so. It gets everyone involved. They feel like they're part of it, and really gets them amped up as they go forward. And he'll be taken down at the 44-yard line. Four yards the pick up, first down. It's nice every now and then in this game not to see people overthink it. Just hand it to the old reliable guy, let him pick up the first down. They stick to the ground game on first down. It's Williams. And the stop here will come at the 38-yard line. It's a six-yard pickup, but it gets him to second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. game. 
from the 38 now. Here's a second and four. Back to throw. Stafford. That's caught. Puka Nakua. And he is out of bounds, but not before he's inside the 30. 12 yards there as they keep this drive rolling. It's another first down. We got to like what you're seeing from this offense here on the first drive. A nice sustained series to begin the game, and it will continue after picking up another first there. Would you say the word methodical comes to mind? I love the execution. I love what they're doing on this drive. They're controlling the ball, controlling the game, controlling the clock. Throw left side complete. That's Williams. And he gets it all the way down inside the 10 and mark him at the five. A well-executed 22-yard gain. A lot of precision being shown on this opening drive. They've been methodical. They've been crisp. And as a reward, they're going to be set up with an early first and goal. First and goal, a chance for an early statement here on the road. They'll try and run. This is Williams. And he's maybe going to get this back to the four, but that's about all. No gain on the play that time, and it sets up second and goal. I don't know about you, Brandon, but I often think to myself, in these situations, I want a back who can create his own space, who can break tackles, and in a sense, become his own blocker. We don't have that guy in the game right now. We're scoreless after one. The Rams with the football here to begin the second quarter. Line of scrimmage, again the four-yard line, second and goal. Williams again. And he'll be stopped up short as the tackle is made at about the three. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. Driven it down the field nicely here on the opening drive, and now it's put up for shot. No doubt about it, because to make that type of a drive and ultimately kick a field goal would feel very disappointing. But I'm just wondering, is the head coach thinking, is this four down territory? Might he go for it? Williams. And he gets halfway there down to the one-yard line. Only a yard that time, so now a decision to be made here on fourth and goal. Defense didn't budge on third down. Now what are we going to see on fourth? We are soon to find out, but does this feel like old school football or what? Oh, right? yeah. This is an old-fashioned goal line stand. I know what I would call on offense. I would go for it. I want some type of a play where my quarterback has a chance to run it or throw it. I don't just want one static play. And they are going to stop him on fourth and one as they'll wind up going backwards. Williams stopped up short of the goal line on fourth down. And on the opening drive of the ball game, the defense comes up with a goal line stand. A chance to get some momentum here in the second quarter, getting their first trip into the red zone, but unable to get it across. And if I'm the head coach, sure you feel some disappointment, maybe a little bit of deflation there because you didn't get it in, but I'm going straight to rah-rah mode. All right, guys, we didn't get it this time. It's only the second quarter. We'll be back. Let's get it later on. I want to keep this team up. I don't want them to feel like they've let everyone down. Positive. Got to be positive in this situation. It's too early to think that you don't have a chance to win this game. They begin the drive on the ground. It's White. And able to get it across the 10 to the 15. Trying to escape the shadow of their goalpost. That helped. 10 yards. First down. I guess it's good we can't really read the mind of the defensive coordinator now, huh? Had him pinned back there deep, give up that run. Can't be happy. Yeah, whatever was whatever is in his mind right now, we probably couldn't say over the air. They go right back to right here on first down. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. The all-everything defensive tackle, Aaron Donald, the one who made the play there. I thought he did a nice job there setting an edge and making sure nothing could get to the outside. But he decided that wasn't enough for him. Worked his way back inside and made the tackle on the ball carrier. Second down, Mayfield. And there's a short one taken in by Otten. Right up. Right up. 
Still needing 10 yards. Now it's third down. To throw Mayfield. Here's White. They set up the screen. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts. So as they talk it over, we step aside. Fourth down, so Jake Camarda is out there. That's going to go in the books as a 55-yard punt. Well done. And the Rams are going offense here for the first and 10. So the Rams coming back onto the field, their second drive of the game. And last time, they had it fourth and goal, rolled the dice, didn't get it. Now they've got to put that behind them, try to put together another drive. A yeah, simple tip of the cap, a nod of the head to the defense. Congratulations, you got us last time. But you didn't hold us the whole time. We got down to position. We were able to be in position to score. Let's go ahead and attack again. Continue to have that kind of confidence. Not worry about the one play that didn't allow them to get into the end zone. Yeah, this time they'll be trying to get it into the end zone. We'll see what they do. Brings up second and a yard at the 40-yard line. Clock continuing to roll as the Rams try to get going again. Now Stafford. Connecting with Cup here on the out route. And he'll be taken down, but not before he gets into enemy territory. Stafford to his number one guy, Cup, for a Los Angeles first. Now you've got to hustle your guys to the line and get them set. On first down, Stafford here. He gets this into the hands of Cup once again. So the completion results there in nine yards. And that'll give him a short yardage situation here for second down. Now Stafford. Screen play set up for Williams. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as the clock will stop with 21 seconds to go here in the first half. So they'll come up first in 10 now from the 33. Now it's Stanford. A throw left sideline falls incomplete. And not a common sight, at least on this drive. A momentary setback, though, for this passing game that has been moving well this series. Good thing for them, though. Still two more downs to connect and try to pick up another first down. After the incomplete pass, here now is second and ten. There's Stanford. Going to be taken in here by Nakua. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucks 14. Now a timeout signaled for, and they'll get it with 10 seconds to go before halftime. Here's a first and 10 at the 14-yard line. Out of the gun, Stafford. And he's got it. That's cut for a Ram touchdown. A great play there in the final seconds of the first half. And the Rams have taken the lead here in the final stages of this first half. That's one of the better examples of clock management I've seen. Whittled it all the way down just about and still put the ball in the end zone. Yeah, just a methodical drive and something really to take into the lockers here. Brett Maher on for the extra point. Yeah. 
It's up, it's good, and the Rams take a 7-0 lead. So that drives seven plays in length. And it ends with Cooper Cup on the receiving end of the touchdown pass. So time enough for a kickoff here. Five seconds remaining in this first half. Oh, a good return up past the 30. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much. And welcome in everyone to our downtown Orlando studios in this EA Sports Halftime Report. This has been a hard-fought battle thus far. Just the one touchdown to this point is still anybody's game at 7 to nothing. as both of these defenses have been out there trying to one-up one another. All right, Coach, thanks. Yeah, both teams likely to make some changes in what's been a closely fought battle to this point. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. From the end zone, here's Devin Tompkins. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Bucks offense set to begin this third quarter. But Charles, we saw a pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. A run to begin the second half with White. And they're able to get this one across the 35. Nice way to start the drive, a gain of 12 and a first down. That one definitely helps as they try to push the ball down the field here, trailing early in the third quarter. And even though they're trailing, not abandoning the running game. People may call it an adjustment. I think it's just much more sticking to what works for you and continuing to have faith in it. And the running game is starting to pay off. The throw over the middle, taken in. Uh, he's got this to the 30 before being taken down. 33 yards that time. And that might be exactly what they needed to wake up this home crowd. They haven't given them much to cheer for so far. And never underestimate the effect the home crowd with you can have on a game. So the big play has them all the way down to the 30 now for first and 10. Now a give up the middle. This is White. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figuring out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. 
Now a second down throw for the end zone, but it's incomplete. Right now, the story of this game continuing to be the defenses because the offenses, they're finding it difficult to establish any rhythm whatsoever. I like how you come to us in praise of defense, Brandon, because that's exactly right. That was an incompletion for us there, but we've seen it throughout this game. Both of these defense coordinators, they're a step ahead of their offensive counter. Touchdown! Chris Godwin, 29 yards. And the Buccaneers are an extra point away from evening this one up. Well, it took them a little while, but they are on the board here in this third quarter now with a chance to tie this up. And it gives them a chance to exhale just a little bit, right? Because most of the time, if your first points come in the second half, you're often hopelessly out of the game, but not in this case. Now they have something to build on and a chance to mount a comeback. Chase McLaughlin on for the extra point. It's good, and we're all tied at seven apiece. That time, 75-yard drive, five plays. And it's Chris Godwin who finishes things off with a touchdown reception. away taken at the goal line and that decision to bring it out ends up not being a good one cost him about five yards as he's tackled it to 20 get a look at this offense led by cooper cup as they make their way back onto the field previous series definitely a focal point three catches the touchdown grab as a db or former db is there a number of catches on a drive you're like oh he got the best of us I'm not sure there's a number, but there's a great feel. And what he did on the last drive, yeah. <laughs> Especially with a touchdown. Yes. You're never way, happy. You're exactly right. The way he capped it off. So you feel that at the sideline, and now you're looking at your buddies and saying, okay, what are we going to do to take things away from him? Because I'm not sure the other guys can make those sort of players. So let's make sure that we don't let him get going again. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Up at the 29 now, they'll head to the line, second and a yard. Here's Stafford. That'll be caught by Cup. And Cup going to pick up a Rams first down as the tackle made up around the 33-yard line. Four yards on the pickup, good enough to extend the drive. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They give it to Williams, running right. And they'll get it up just short of the 45 at the 44. It's a gain of 11 and a first down L.A. First downs have not come easy, and neither have runs like this throughout this game. Absolutely not. He finally felt like, whoa, a sigh of relief. We got something going in the running game. Now a first down carry, it's Williams. They'll get this up to the 47 and brought down there. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. From the 47 now, they'll work with a second and seven. Now it's Stafford off the bootleg. He'll get this one to cut complete. And he'll take this from 147 yard line to the other. A gain of six. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we played three quarters. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. A field goal from this spot likely out of the question. They've got to get closer here on third down. Stafford down to throw. And this pass broken up. Well, the contact well timed there. And now fourth down. To give you an idea of how accurate he's been throwing the football, we're in the second half. That's just his second incompletion. Well, if he's that locked in, that means everyone's locked in. Because to me, it's like throwing a no-hitter in baseball. The pitcher may get the credit. A lot of people making plays behind him in the field. 
On fourth down, Stafford. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. No luck for the Rams as they fail here on fourth down. And the Buccaneers' defense holds, and they get the football back. Boy, an incredibly aggressive move to go for it there. Game tied fourth quarter. you got to be surprised. I am, and I know that we're in a new era of football where we look at the analytics sometimes, and a lot of time the analytics tell you to go for it, right? But do the analytics take into account game situation, where we are, all those things? In this situation, I thought it was an incredibly aggressive play. It didn't work out, and again, tie game fourth quarter makes this a little bit more interesting. And it's good for a gain of six, and it's second down. Just about every quarterback is trained to really look downfield first before you come back and make a nice, safe throw. And in this case, that's exactly what he did. Found his running back, let him create some space, and it turned out to be a nice play for the offense. Mayfield to throw it. Houghton brings it in over the middle. A six-yard pass on back-to-back -back plays. Picks up the first. Many different ways to create space, but on that play, he did it with that big, wide body of his. Didn't get a whole lot of yardage on the play, but it did what it was supposed to. Pick up a first down. First down, here's White. And this winds up a pickup of two, maybe two and a half, to about the 39. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Second down, eight yards to go. They keep it on the ground, wide again. And some nice running going to get him down close to a first down at the Rams 33. And that looked like some pretty easy yardage there right up the gut. And he's a guy that has some height to him. So when you don't have to drop a shoulder or create or get through contact or trash, it makes it a lot easier to stay upright, see the field, and make a run as we just saw there. Getting down to the good stuff. All tied with two minutes remaining on EA Sports. They'll try to pick this up on the ground with White. And he's able to pick up the first before he's taken down at the 27. Hasn't been his best afternoon on the ground, far from it, but a critical third down conversion. This afternoon just got better. All right, you're exactly right. Hasn't been his best in terms of yardage, but that run there, that's the one your teammates look to you and go, okay, that's what we want from you. That's what we need. Now they have a chance to keep moving forward and a chance to win the game. They'll go up the middle with White. The Rams going to go ahead and use the first of their timeouts as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. They run straight ahead here with White. Down to the 25. Now the Rams will signal for a timeout their second as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. What can they draw up now? Time to find out on a third and eight. Now a give to White. Shifts past him. The Rams going to be forced to use their third and final timeout as they stop it here with a minute seven remaining. Here's first down. Going right side is White. And he's into the end zone. Touchdown, Buccaneers. Rashad White, a 15-yard touchdown run. And the Bucs have broken this deadlock and have taken the lead here in the fourth. Hey, that score deserves our respect, deserves our excitement. But I'm looking at the clock, and I'm thinking, there's a long way to go in this. 
this one. Ideally, they would have liked to milk a little bit more time off. Now on the other sideline, you start to get the crew together and say, this is what we practiced the two-minute drill for, right? Yeah, you hope you've been in that situation before, and if you haven't, you just have the confidence. Hey, let's go down there and get this thing done. But boy, that's a big score right there to give them the advantage. An extra point by McLaughlin is up and good. And that makes the score 14 to 7. Touchdown, here's McLaughlin to kick off. And this will not be returned. It's a touchback, and they'll begin at the 25. So now Stafford and the Rams down 14 to 7. A little over a minute to go. They need a touchdown to the PAT to tie it as they come up first and 10. timeouts at their disposal. Here's first and ten. Now it's Stafford. It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage, and some, they like to go for the big shot. No fear of risking a deep ball there, but it wasn't enough to get him the completion. Clock at 30 seconds. Second and ten. Now Stafford. And he can't get a throw away. He's taken down. Levante David in there to drop him as that clock continues to run. I love how they're tearing the pages out of the so called Packers. Four teams will do this instead of laying back. Bring pressure in this situation. Go after him a little bit. One last throw here for Stafford. Able to find the open man. That's complete. And this is going to lead to another first down as the tackle's made at the Bucs 44-yard line. That was a long shot, but they did get one final chance to try to score and overcome this small deficit. No touchdown, though, Charles. And that brings this one to a close. Yeah, I think Hope was wearing one jersey and Worry was wearing another on the other sideline as that final snap played out. Now, we've seen some incredible plays to win games before. But in this case, I think the distance is just a little bit too great for it to happen here. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gordon. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Bucks are winners here as we say so long from Tampa.